Hello and thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to do a bit of a different video. I'm going to show you some books which will help your children with self-esteem. My daughter's been going through a bit of a phase at the moment where she's not very happy with herself. She's not very positive about herself and we want to change that. We want to change that in a positive way and we don't want her to feel bad about herself or feel like she's failing or any of these things. So we have got her some books. She's five at the moment. These books aren't just for girls, they would work for boys too. And hopefully, if you're going through the same sort of thing, then you will get some inspiration of what you can do and what you can read to them. The first book we got is Beautiful Books. And this is a beautiful book. It's really nicely written. It just kind of emphasizes that everything can be beautiful. Doesn't matter what, for example, a torn piece of paper, obviously my daughter saw this and was like oh, who's done that is a crocodile's mouth so you know there's it kind of goes through the whole book like that and shows you what opportunities you can get from something which you think might not be positive so a bent bit of paper obviously without this bent bit of paper the penguin has no head just emphasizing that everything can be beautiful and no matter if you think you've failed at something, you know, if you scrunch up your paper when you've finished or when you got frustrated, you can then turn that into something beautiful. So that's a really, really nice kind of affirming book that everything is okay. Next up is The Dot by Peter Reynolds. This is a really, really nice book of a child who says they can't draw and so all they do is a dot. And from that dot, great things come. And it's quite a nice, again, a nice book about saying you can't do something and then being able to achieve it and being able to achieve more than you ever thought possible. Sticking at it and achieving, I guess. And that's another really nice book. It is not kind of too long or anything, so five minutes read maximum. Next up, a book called I Like Myself. Now this one makes us giggle every night, they're not outwardly, because as soon as we finish this one, which is affirming about everything, um, as soon as we finish it, my daughter just goes, but I still hate myself. So, my favourite page in this book is this one. No matter if they stop and stare, no person ever, anywhere, can make me feel that what they see is all there really is to me. That's a lesson most of us adults could learn. There is a lot more to us than people see. There's a lot more to us than people judge about. Next up we have some books, these are the final lot that I got and these are, hopefully I'm going to say the name right, um, Giles Andrea, we'll go with that. I have The Dance of Wallowy Bigness, The Dog Machine and The Ministry of Niceness and we already had one about a penguin um, and that's about trust. The Dance of Wallowy Bigness is about accepting yourself for who you are accepting that you're different from other people, accepting that your dance, in this case, might not be the same as everybody else's dance, and that's okay. The Ministry of Niceness is about a cat, and there are lots of cool cats, and the cool cats turns all the rest of them into nice cats, because initially the cool cats can't be bothered with the nice cat, but then they realise that the nice cat makes them feel happy about being nice. The Dog Machine is about differences and our differences kind of set us apart and make us who we are and in the dog machine the dog ruler tries to make one machine to clean up all the dog poo even though all the dog poo is different shapes and sizes and it's just that kind of affirming that it doesn't matter who you are what shape what size you are we all still poo and we all still need to be accepted for who we are and there is no machine which can kind of look after all of us in exactly the same way because we're all different. I'm really hoping that these are going to help with her feeling a little bit better about herself. She's just pretty hard on herself, which I don't think I ever was as a kid. I definitely am more as an adult, um, but as a kid I really wasn't that hard on myself and I was pretty happy. So I'm hoping she's either getting this self-hatred out now and not in her teenage years, or I'm hoping we can just get rid of it all together and hopefully mean that she likes herself because she's pretty impressive and we do tell her that all the time. But it doesn't make it very easy when she says she doesn't like herself. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you like this video. 
um if you are going through something similar then let me know in the comments maybe we could try and help each other through it i hope it was useful to you i hope you've enjoyed it if you have give us a thumbs up if you'd like to please subscribe and i'll see you again soon all right bye